And we are going straight to Jaipur, where uh, Colonel Rajivardhan Rathor, Senior Minister in the Cabinet in the State, is joining us live. Uh, Colonel Rathor, uh, good to see you here on NDTV. But uh, let me begin by asking you, 25 on 25, that was the scene in 2014 and 2019. Uh, will 2024 be different? Uh, not at all. Uh, we are going to do a hat trick of uh, 25 out of 25. And uh, I can tell you one of the primary reasons for that is the debacle of the Congress government, which was ruling this state just four months ago. So everything is very fresh in the minds of the electorate who have gone to cast vote today. The contrast between four, years er four months earlier in the Rajasthan state and the work done within 100 days now. So they do understand the big difference between a double engine government that is working and the Congress that was purely working for self-survival and uh, personal interests. Colonel, um, the BJP dropped 10 sitting MPs. Uh, yeah. Some would suggest that there was a bit of a concern over there. Why? Because leaders like Rahul Kaswan, Prehlad Gunjal, some of them ended up joining the Congress party. Is this at all a factor for the BJP? Not really. BJP has always had its own strategy and uh, there's always opportunities given to various uh, uh, people from the BJP. Now, uh, one needs to understand that anybody who's in this uh, Carter-based party needs to be highly disciplined. And we have a philosophy of keeping the country first. So, yes, there can be personal ambitions. Uh, there can be uh, a few tears here and there for their personal ambition. But at the, at the end of the day, it has to be the, the country first. It has to be the party's decision. It's not a, a family-driven uh, political party. Hence, um, uh, the interest of the nation comes first. And so, therefore, anyone who sort of changes side, which, by the way, are very few on our mm. side. There's a, there's a massive uh, shift from leaders from Congress to BJP at all levels, at the highest, senior most level to mid-level to uh, level of partials, councillors. Uh, if I give you the example of my own uh, Vidhan Sabha, which is Jotwara, we have the sitting MLA who has come to us. He was the minister who has come to us. We have number of councillors who have come to us. Literally, there is no Congress in Jotwara. Okay. Sir, you know, there has been a mobilization of the Rajput community. A number of them have given uh, calls for boycott of the BJP. Did that have any kind of spillover effect in Rajasthan as well because of the significant population of the Rajputs in the state? Or are there concerns uh, at, uh, you know, for the BJP state unit? So, Congress's strategy and the India Alliance strategy has been pretty much the same always. Divide and rule, call out communities within the, Hindu, within the Hindus and uh, try and create uh, a perception of uh, dis, uh, dissentment. Now, uh, there is no issue within any community uh, and the community that you named, there is no issue at all. But to bring in a couple of people, have them speak on the television, have them speak on, not the television actually, have them speak on the video and then try and circulate video and uh, put trolls who sort of uh, circulate these videos again and again. That doesn't change the thought process of the community that has been with the BJP right from the times of Jan Sang. In, in the struggling days of Jan Sang and BJP, the community that you just named has been, had stood with them. All the communities that have supported BJP have always been with, been with them. And now at a time when 10 years of Prime Minister's work, wherein he has supported literally every segment of the society, for them to uh, oppose uh, BJP is ridiculous. Absolutely. Okay, so Robin. this is just a they, they ploy to somehow come up with some issue because Congress and India Alliance don't have any issue. They don't have any development issue. They have no vision. They have no philosophy. And so therefore, they have no work done. They have no report card. So what do they do when they go into election? They have to do something. What about Ravinder Singh Bharti? I mean, there is a lot of chatter around him. Uh, the BJP wanted him. Of course, he didn't join your party. The Congress also 
uh, wanted to field him. That did not happen. He is contesting as an independent and it seems that he is a poster boy of you know, resistance these days in Rajasthan. No, I don't know the past, uh, he, he perhaps joined BJP, but the BJP didn't give him a ticket at that point of time. I don't, I don't know the backstory to this, but uh, that's all right. For anybody, it, it's, uh, uh, it's a free country. It's a democratic country. Anybody would want to contest against whosoever is absolutely open, but BJP has no issues. We are very clear, it's not about, these elections are not about somebody's personal ego. These elections are about nation building. Mm -hmm. These elections are about the work that has been done in the last past 10 years. And the turnaround, the whole country has taken in the last 10 years. The, uh, the beneficiaries and the system that's been created where leakages have been stopped. This is a time for the transformational time for the country, wherein the speed of development is going to increase many fold. So this is an election for safety, security, nation building, uh, to take our economy from the fifth to now the third and then uh, perhaps um, uh, being, become a developed nation. So this is not about personal ego as well. If, if somebody is fighting an election for himself, so be it. It's a democratic right. country. All right, Colonel Dato. Wonderful speaking to you. Thank you so much uh, for speaking to us. Thanks very much indeed.